Armored Warfare, modern armored vehicle combat is brought to earth-shaking life. As a private military contractor with access to vehicles from around the world, players will fight in conflicts across the planet. Here in California, Obsidian Entertainment is hard at work on Armored Warfare. Armored Warfare is, is really different from a lot of the other tank battle games out there in that we're jumping into the modern era. And that brings with it a lot of different story elements that are more applicable today. It also brings with it a lot of the evolution of military uh, technology, weapons, defense systems, and things like that. The look and feel that we're going for is a blend between uh, realism and uh, an action movie. There have been a lot of improvements and changes to uh, tank warfare in the past 50 years, and that's really affected the way that these vehicles have developed and the way that the technology and the weapon systems have developed. You'll see a lot of elements and mechanics at play there that you wouldn't have seen in earlier generations of tank warfare. Smoke grenades, explosive reactive armor, anti-missile protection systems and things like that will all factor into the gameplay mechanics. We're going to have vehicles ranging from post-war, uh, like 1950s, all the way up to everything in the most modern vehicles, modern era stuff. This modern technology is recreated in armored warfare with painstaking attention to detail. The vehicles are modeled right down to the bolts. We put a lot of research and time into making those vehicles as detailed and accurate looking as possible. Our tanks are very, very detailed. There are, on a typical main battle tank, about 40,000 triangles. And with upgrades, that can get up to 70,000 triangles. The tanks are uh, rigged, very complex rigs that allow for the road wheels to interact with the terrain and they jack up and down as the tanks are rolling along. And there's antennae that, that bounce around and like if you blow up a tank and you detonate its magazine, then the, the turret will pop off and becomes physical. So when it comes down to the way that the vehicles handle, the way damage is calculated, the way we process the armor simulation, all that is extremely accurate. At the same time, it is not a game where players are expected to play it exactly like the sim. It is intended to be approachable. We're always working to try and find the right balance between realism and fun. Obviously, uh, people want certain elements to be realistic and certain elements to be a little bit more arcade. We're trying to find that balance between those two. To make the detailed vehicles and expansive battlefields of armored warfare, the development team turned to Crytek's powerhouse, CryEngine. The CryEngine had a lot of stuff out of the box that was very useful for us. A good example for the armor simulation, we already had ballistics for the ammunition, so there was already a starting point for that. Crytek's ability to have great vehicle physics and fantastic exteriors with amazing lighting was going to be a perfect fit for armor warfare. CryEngine enabled us to get highly detailed tanks in the game very quickly. Right off the bat, we were able to get vehicles in the game and have them traversing around the environments. It's also really, really strong for doing large outdoor environments. There's just a lot of stuff that, that goes perfectly well with the type of game that we're trying to make. This emphasis on realism has been extended to the environments that players will fight over in-game. So our map locations are inspired by real places in the world, and it is very important for us to, to be authentic to those locations. We really put a lot of thought into what type of places would combat be taking place in a modern conflict. And it really came down to things like resources, ports, harbors, anything that affects trade or, or energy. PvP combat will require a team's attention to extend to strategy and tactics. Because these are large armored vehicles for the most part, it isn't really about speed or ducking or jumping or anything like that. It's really about pos proper positioning, flanking, being aware of your enemy's locations, using reconnaissance and other options for figuring out what your opponents are up to. All to put your own team in the right position in order to succeed. In terms of the vehicle classes, we're going to have several different vehicle classes at launch. Obviously, everyone knows about the main battle tanks, the big heavies, but we're also going to be doing things like light tanks, some tank destroyers, AFVs. When all the classes are playing together, they're going to be much more effective as a team than they will be individually. Armored Warfare also introduces a unique new feature to online tank warfare games cooperative PVE missions. We really felt that it was a necessary component to the game to let players get into these type of gameplay, even if they're not necessarily into the competitive nature of player versus player combat. So PvE is kind of the side of the game where we really get to explore the narrative armored warfare. As we go forward in development, we plan on adding and playing around with a lot of different types of modes. I think it's mostly just a matter of getting them into the game, seeing how they feel, and then getting them out there in front of the players to see how they feel about them. The team at Obsidian Entertainment is dedicated to bringing you the next generation of armored vehicle warfare. The amount of work that's gone into researching how the armor works, 
how the ammunition works, how we expect these things to interact with each other. I, I really think that that is going to shine in the game when we when we get it out there in front of the players. Armored Warfare is really the type of game I've always wanted to develop. I look forward to when we're able to talk a lot more about Armored Warfare with the public and discuss the, the gameplay mechanics, the plans, the future, and things that we're going to keep on adding to the game. I think it's going to be really exciting, and I'm really looking forward to that opportunity. Sign up for the beta at aw.my.com.